Today I'm going to be showing you how to create quick patterns on PowerPoint. So let's get started. I'm Sadhan Sadhing and I'm using PowerPoint 2013. So first what you're going to do is go to insert and then go to shapes and then pick this hexagonal shape over here and holding down shift, drag it like that. Done. Then what you're going to do is click on this, press Ctrl D to duplicate it and put it right over here. Then press Ctrl D again multiple times so that you have this pattern. If I zoom out, dragging this, you will see I've created many of them. Now what I will do is drag over all of them and go to Merge Shapes and Uname them together. If you don't have this Merge Shape option on your PowerPoint, what you can do is right click on them and then group them together. Now what I will do is put them right over here and press Ctrl D to duplicate it one more time and put it right over here. If I zoom in a bit, we want a pattern something like this. Right? Simple. Done. Then I'll zoom out a bit. Now we have something like this pattern. Now what I will do is just drag over all of this, go to Merge Shapes and you name them together. Then finally press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Put it right over here. Then press Ctrl D again and you'll have this thing. So you have your multi uh, hexagonal shapes right over there. Then just make them a perfect aligned and you have your hexagonal shape thingy ready. For the next step, you, what you need to do is just put them right in the place where they belong. Then drag over all of them. You might group them together. Or the better option is to go to format and merge them together. So I have something like this. Now what I will do is we are almost done. If I open the slideshow, you will have something like this. So final part is I'll go to shape outline. I'll click on no outline and go to shape fill and make it white. You can see nothing right now. But if I go to shape effects and shadow and click on this, you will have something like this. And if I open the slideshow, you'll see like this pattern has been created. Now you can explore it many more different ways you can go to reflection or you may go to more shadowy options like that shadow so you see there are many more potential so what I'm basically trying to tell is just this is how you create patterns so let me create a text box so I went to insert then I'm going to this word art, and I'll get my text box and I'll tell a uh, slight create awesome patterns awesome slide patterns I guess that would be a nice thumbnail <laughs> alright awesome slide patterns so I'm done with my thumbnail I'll drag all of it and go to home and click on Nike combat yeah this one if you want to download this font I'll get the link in the description you can download the font directly from the YouTube description below then what I will do is just hold in the control shift. I'll drag it like that so that I have a copy. I'll delete this part and I'll delete this part. Now I'll increase the size of the patterns just like that. And put it like that. I zoom in a bit. The awesome doesn't match with it. I'm going to increase the size to maybe 56. Yeah, now it fits perfectly. Now I'll hold in on shift. I'll click on both of them and click on S to get rid of the shadows. Then I'll go to font color and go to more colors go to custom and make this youtube red color i just love this color so i'm going to use this color done so create awesome slide patterns so we are done with our presentation so now i'm going to show you a bit of different ways you can create patterns i'm going to show you how to use this technique more many more times so basically you have a blank slide right you can do is go to insert go to shapes and pick this rectangle over here drag it like that simple right then just rotate it a bit like that and put it right over here for the next step what I'm gonna do is press ctrl D to duplicate it and put it like that then press ctrl D hold in and ctrl D <laughs> we have something like this then I'll press ctrl A to select it all go to format merge them together so I have something like this now 
if I go to shape fill and make it white and shape outline make it no outline and go to shape effects I can make something like this you see it creates a nice pattern right alright you can take it a little further you can take random shapes just like this and create them together so I'm gonna go to shapes and I'm gonna create some dotted ones so we are basically done with our tutorial I'm just gonna experiment it so that you can find it a bit helpful so I've created this I got this shape by going to shapes and clicking on the chevron shape Press on and I have something like this I'll drag over all of it merge them together then what I will do is press on the D to duplicate it just like that and go to rotate flip it horizontally and I have something like this done then I'll drag over all of this get rid of the shape outlines and I'll have something like that what you can do is not like make it like that you can separate them together or make it like that I'm going to merge them together press ctrl D to duplicate it put it right over here press ctrl D B. done so that's how you create this I'll drag all of it format merge shapes you name them together now the same process shadow and get rid of the things and now you have something like this so as you can see you can create tons of different shapes and combinations using just this shape and this is a duplication technique so you can very fast create many different objects as you like so experiment with it thanks for watching this entire tutorial and if you have any requests you want me to make any slide you can contact me on my facebook profile which is Sadman Sadiq or you can contact me directly in powerpoint pro or you can just type it in the comment section of youtube description so thanks for watching the entire tutorial hope you have a great day and practice some awesome powerpoint create something awesome today thanks for watching